After a warm welcome from their furry friends, Yvette spots an unexpected addition to the family in their living room. Oh my god! Look at the size of this telly! <laughs> Carl! Carl! Look at the size of the telly! <laughs> <laughs> Do we get the wrong side? That's as big, that's big, isn't it? Oh my! <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous! But sweetheart, the more you move it around, it's not going to get smaller. No, darling. <laughs> it's blocked out all the light from the window. It's fantastic. <laughs> they disagree about an issue that causes oh, friction between men and women around the world. Oh. Does size matter? Carl, it's too big. I'll tell you whether it's too big or not. It's too, no, big. It's too big. Carl, it's obscene. <laughs> the controversial telly is to be the centrepiece of a huge party at their home to celebrate their latest enterprise, the launch of their television channel. A week later, the big day has arrived for Yvette and Carl. After years of preparation and negotiation, the dream they have had of creating their own channel will finally, they hope, come true. I don't know what I'm hoping for for tonight's event. Well, one thing I know is, it, you know, the, the paranormal channel is going to be on, on, on my television, in my front room, on that humongous television that's just so obscene to look at. But it's going to be there. How wonderful is that? It's a massive goal that we've achieved and... I'm nervous, so nervous that come six o'clock, nothing will happen. I'll have all these people standing there saying, come on, you've been waffling on about this for the last five years or so. And it's all staring at a blank screen. I think my whole world will crumble if it doesn't go out at six o'clock as it should do. The duo has invited everyone involved in the creation of the channel to their home in Cheshire, including friends and close family, to celebrate the channel's appearance on screen for the first time at 6 p.m. Hello, Mum! Hello, how are you? <laughs> I love you. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Broomstick up the road, is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> the day, however, is not without bottom clenching anxiety. Lots of people that work in television love parties and the celeb thing and, you know, drinking. I can't stand it. I absolutely hate it. I don't like having parties at my house. And the reason is it's purely because I get very, very nervous. She's born to do what she does and she's, she's great with people. She really is good with people. I'm kind of, um, uh, I think I'm funny. You know, I'm one of those really annoying people that will just constantly tell people jokes that aren't funny. And I will sit there and think, come on and expect them to laugh and usually, I mean, quite often they laugh out of sympathy but that's usually all they do laugh at. Oh. Go in, make yourself home, there's beer, there's, there's naked women, uh, naked men um, and Thai lady boys. The all-important launch time is fast approaching and the nerves are frayed as friends and family congregate to finally witness the channel go live on air. <laughs> I feel superb, how do you feel? Elated, just fantastic, so excited and just can't take my eyes off the screen, I'm just watching it and I know I'm going to be a pain in the neck because it's going to have to be constantly on the channel. Out of everything we've done, I think tonight is probably one of the proudest days of my entire life. Yeah. Um, certainly in the top five. Their close friend, Fred Bat, toasts them as creators of the new channel. If you'd like to raise your glasses to Event on Car. <laughs> Calling everyone to dinner is Yvette's friend and colleague from Most Haunted, the uh, unusually attired Leslie, more of whom we'll see later. Yvette and Carl say au revoir to their late night radio show. Oh, it's really sad because it's our last show. I know, boo! Get all dressed up with somewhere to go for an OK shoot. Sounds like our second date. Would you shut up? But then have to cope with the emotional strain of being forced apart. I'm getting all teary now. I feel like I've had my arm cut off. <laughs>